In this exercise, I'm going to connect to Bing Maps. Uh, I'm going to connect to the maps, and I'm going to resample those maps, and then export those maps out to uh, an AutoCAD drawing. So for users that do not have Map or Civil 3D or FDO connection capabilities, uh, they'll still be able to see those maps. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to type in Map W space to launch my task pane. So I'm going to come up here to the top left, data. Connect to data. This is going to bring up the, my list of uh, data connections providers. Um, the second one from the top, base map services connection. You'll have to go out to, if you already haven't, go out to labs.autodesk.com and download Project Base Jump. Uh, that'll get you this free add on and you can then uh, connect to those, these being maps. So I'm going to choose that option, add base map service connection. Uh, you, you can name it, you don't have to name it, but I'm going to call it Bing Maps. Whoa. Maps. It's going to hit connect here. And it's going to give me three different types of images. It's going to give me uh, a color aerial image, which would be just the aerial. It's going to give me an aerial image with labels, and it's going to give me a road one, which is basically a vicinity map or a kind of a Google Maps looking looking thing, no image underneath. So I'm going to connect to all three and hit add to map. And so this is reading the coordinate system. So right now you can see here that I have my coordinate system set to uh, Utah State Plain, NAT 83, Central Zone. Um, so whatever coordinate system you have set there, that's going to be the map so that's going to import in. So if I close out this data connection, you can see that I've got, you know, the central region of, of Utah. So I'm going to zoom into a location. Just do a zoom window. As I zoom in, you can see it resample. Let's zoom a little closer. Continues to resample. And so this is the one. The one that you see here is the one that's just called road. You know, it's just going to be a vicinity map. You can create your vicinity maps. You can do different things here. Um, we can turn these layers on and off. So if we look in the task pane, we got three different layers. So I'm going to turn off the road one. Okay. And then you'll see the aerial. So as I zoom in, let's zoom tighter here. Okay. Regenerates and you can kind of see the, the clarity a lot better. Let's keep zooming in a little bit. Um, if I turn off aerial, you'll then see the aerial with labels. Okay. So when I'm zoomed into the area I want, let's uh, let's say we're developing this ground here. Uh, if I'm zoomed into the area I want to see, I can right click on the layer. So in this case, aerial over here in the task pane. Right click and go to resample raster. What that does is it clips out that whole huge image just to that portion that you want to see on your screen. So if we zoom out a little bit more and we want to resample that again, right click, resample raster. Okay. You'll see that image expand. Okay. So it doesn't delete it, it doesn't get rid of it, it just kind of clips it down. And this is great, you know, if, if you want to see um, this, if you have Civil 3D, if you have Map 3D. Uh, works great, but if you have AutoCAD or you're sending this to somebody that just has AutoCAD that cannot connect to this image, you'll want to export this out using this certain command um, that I'll give you here in a second. You'll want to export this out. That, that way it's going to create a PNG file XREF to the correct location in AutoCAD. Um, so we could jump over to our planning and analysis tab and it's on the outpour and it's output tab. Um, and it's called uh, export map to export current map to DWG. Um, but the key in command, if you want to key it in, is map export current map to DWG. So you could type that in there, or you could create your own hotkey for it. Um, but I'm going to use that. I'm going to go map export. It's going to ask me to save this drawing. I'm just going to throw it on uh, SolidDesk Learning here. Uh, do you want to detach the image? I'm going to say no. Okay. So if I open up my Windows Explorer um, and look at the for that file, 
it creates my DWG and it also creates that, J, that PNG image. So if I open this DWG, I can open this in you know, any flavor of AutoCAD. Okay. You'll then see that JPEG or that PNG image that is XREFed in to the correct location and uh, color and everything there. That's one way of getting it to users that do not have uh, FDO functionality.